The professional wire, Dr. Fauci, has been making a couple of waves over the past few hours because he said some things which were very mask offish. He, you see, has abandoned all forms of subtlety and come out and just said it. That he believes that he is the omnipresent representation of science itself. He said this in a... Uh, interview with Face the Nation just recently, and, well, it went over about as well as you could possibly expect, with many people, at least on the right, going on to say that he's acting like a cult leader and all the other requisite things that must be said, and many people, of course, saying that the sheeple are just going along with this and all of these things, and uh, you might say that this is a perfect refutation of my video that I just, just recently back last Wednesday, but I beg to differ because, well, this markates a distinct change in how Dr. Fauci has been acting over, compared to the last year to now, because if you look at just a year, a year ago, uh, Dr. Fauci would have taken the Heise Kite route. He would try to avoid mentioning the political uh, aspects of literally anything he was talking about and attempt to uh, mitigate his political nature by simply ignoring the issues, knowing, of course, that his sycophants and the people who are making St. Uh, Fauci candles and other uh, effigies would be able to proclaim him as the uh, embodiment of science on their own. But now, now that after a year of him being embattled and that uh, particular image of him imploding over the whole public sphere, he now has to come out and say it himself. And I it must be stressed, this is the first time he has come out and explicitly said that he believes himself to be the embodiment of science. Now, many people in the media, including people he had done interviews for, have been doing this for quite a long time now, but this is the first time, at least I think, that he's quite done it himself, especially this explicitly. It is, it is amazing how brazen this man is, how much he thinks he can just get away with it. Or maybe that's not the case. Maybe it's not that he thinks he can get away with it, but that he is so attached to his ego, and he so wants to push the idea of this, and he so likes the idea that he is the embodiment of science, that he is going to say it because he's no longer getting the full praise, the full court press of uh, en uh, enjoyment and and worship that he was getting even just a few months ago. He has been embattled by many a scandal, and the rest of the COVID narrative has been falling apart in good measure. I've talked uh, in full about how many of the narratives that are being pushed recently are just not working as well as they did just even a year ago, or even a couple of months ago, uh, compared to March of 2020, and it's, it's leagues different. Many people who now are dis dissidents to the whole COVID thing were still tepidly in favor of what was being uh, proposed in March. In fact, if you look back to February, January of 2020, you'll find that many of the people who were first raising the alarm bells about COVID-19 were in fact not the authoritarian leftists, but instead conservatives and right other right-wingers who were concerned about what China was doing with its biological weapons programs and all uh, what what it's potentially been hiding from the rest of the world on that front. Uh, a conspiracy theory that was of course proven entirely true over the next couple, uh, next year and almost two years at that point, at this point. And this continues not just into the Fauci issue, but also into other aspects of the COVID narrative. Because you see, the Z variant, Omicron variant, according to the WHO, has now been released into the public, and the NPC upgrade has now happened, and now every single thing they say is going to be about that. And this has been led at the forefront by the new governor of New York, not Andrew Cuomo, but instead a random woman I can't remember the name of, uh, has now said that she is going to stop all elective surgeries, which is a much broader definition than what it seems at first blush, from happening in the state because of a variant of the virus that doesn't even exist on this continent. For those who don't know, the Z, Omicron, sorry, uh, variant of the virus, 
doesn't exist outside of Africa at this point, or at the very least hasn't been monitored outside of Africa at this point. And it's worth it to mention that the, found, uh, the person who found and originally discovered this variant of the disease has determined it to be, quote, extremely mild, which I would say is a fairly strong indication that it's not uh, it's, it's not going to be causing any cytokine storms. It's not going to be killing 5% of the population or anything like that. It's probably not any more uh, deadly than any other variant. Of course, if you're going under my rubric, I would argue that most of COVID has been extremely mild in terms of diseases. But in, a, in terms of other people, I, I suppose you could say that it is just mild, which means that this particular variant of the disease might even be less symptomatic. And if that's the case, wouldn't you want it to spread over, well, any of the other variants? I mean, I know we're early on and there could be a massive uh, discovery over the next couple of weeks and I understand some caution, sort of, or at least I would have two years ago, but it's obvious where this is going and where the New York governor is going to try and push this. And in New York, she may get away with it. I mean, Seeing as what happened in New Jersey just recently, and uh, New York being of a somewhat similar demographic, I know they're different, but uh, uh, stick with me here. They're both very blue states, and in New Jersey, it didn't go well for the Democrats uh, just a couple of weeks ago. I don't imagine that might be a sustainable strategy, and it just seems sort of insane. And it is something that cannot be understated. How blatant many of these people are. Like in the case with Fauci, the governor in this case is being incredibly just brazen with how much we are pushing the narrative and just refusing to see any of the detriments to that effect. You can see it in almost any example of the, of the issues which have gone from potentially winning issues to now abject losing issues for the Democrats and the left more broadly over the past year and change. This goes not only for the COVID example, but also for other things. Uh, we could talk about education. We could talk about, well, I'd say even violent crime. Just look at the Wokasia incident. People understand, and I think there is a substantial portion of the population that understand that the Wokasia, uh, not shooting, sorry, I, I got that wrong, uh, the Wakesha drive through <laughs> essentially. Uh, the Wakesha massacre, and to, to be as accurate as possible, was not caused by a car. It was not caused by an SUV. It wasn't put the, it wasn't just happenstance. And people, I think, a lot of them understand that the Wakesha incident has a lot to do with the racial tensions that have gone on, and particularly the Kyle Rittenhouse uh, verdict, which did not go over well with leftists. And this leftist in particular, who is the person who was driving the car through the entirely white uh, parade goers, uh, a, by the way, uh, leftist activist who is also a felon, and someone who, strangely enough, it seems as though the left has taken ownership of and wishes to defend in any way possible. Many leftists have been claiming for the better part of two weeks that the Wakesha incident was an accident or had to do with something else. It's just so absurd, and I can't get past it. And this is something that is very, very common for leftists. I mean... Just to go back to the Fauci argument, he made some uh, issues about not only the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, which you might say is his area of expertise, but he also made comments as to the January 6th thing, the January 6th trespassing, claiming that <laughs> Ted Cruz, or at least suggesting that Ted Cruz should be prosecuted for such. Uh, what information he would have that would imply that Ted Cruz in particular did anything illegal on that day, I have no idea, and I don't imagine he has any. But he's being that brazen and being that obvious liar in, in both of that case and in the location incident. 
because the leftists have lost control of a lot of narratives over the past few years, and it's particularly the past year. Just take CRT, for example. They have gone from CRT being a completely defensible point that either doesn't exist, or if it does exist, it is good, to something that is an abject failure and has lost the education issue for Democrats, something which they've had on lock for decades. It, it, that really, as well, can't be understated. It, Democrats have been plus in the education issue for such a long time over Republicans. It is, it is not an exaggeration to say that if that was the only issue, Democrats would win every election basically anywhere in the country. It, it, of course, that wasn't the case, and so they didn't win every election in the country. But that issue has somehow reversed, and it's amazing. And that sort of uh, headway for the right can be made in almost any issue. And it's been shown, it's been proven to be the case broadly in the public. And not just in a silent majority, everyone believes this, but no one does anything about it. Wait, but in a way in which people do do a lot of things about it. And so that's where you need to go. You need to do the civic planning. And by the way, I'm going to be doing some of that. I'm going, my first video of the next year I've decided is going to be on the midterms in the state I live in, uh, particularly. I'm going to be doing that. And that's where I'm going to leave you guys off with that little te teaser. Uh, if you enjoyed that video, do in fact subscribe down below. And more importantly, check out my platforms uh, on other websites that aren't the utter uh, censorship scape of YouTube. I suggest you check out my BitChute, my Brideon, my, uh, uh, my Rumble, my Odyssey, all of those places. And on top of that, go check out my, uh, uh, my platforms on Mind, Gab, and Getter. Those links are all down in the description. I'm Kel Kidman. This has been Breaking on the Daily, and I'm out.